There's nothing wrong with testing the waters, but if you do, you just better make sure you can swim. Junior forward Obi Anetjonia is doing just that by declaring early for the NBA draft. This move allows Obi to see what kind of interest he might get from NBA teams, but it also allows him to come back to Temple if he doesn't like what he's hearing. I got a chance to sit down with him and talk about his decision. Obi Anetjonia is declaring for the NBA draft. Obi with the first pick in the 2016 NBA draft. While the junior forward is not projected to be a lottery pick, the 6'10 sharpshooter has gotten favorable looks from scouts as he hopes to turn his dream into a reality. It's always been my dream to play in the NBA, so any opportunity that I have to um, show my skills and um, give myself a chance to play at that level, I want to take advantage of. How much would it mean for you and your family, uh, those that support you, you know, for that name to get called on draft night? Yeah, it would definitely be huge. You know, obviously it's a lot of money involved in that and, you know, it's, it'd be great for my future um, as well as just being able to play basketball for a living. Waking up every day and making money playing basketball, that's a great thing. And Nechionia hopes to be the 33rd Al to join the association. Now luckily for him, they already have one on the coaching staff, former Al turned pro Aaron McKee. You know, you can always go up to him and ask him what the NBA was like, ask him for any tips that he has, and he's always been open about that. When you look at guys like Kevin Love, uh, like Draymond Green, you could shoot from the outside. You know, do you really feel like you could fit in the NBA? Yeah, there, there are definitely a, a lot of guys that can, you know, step out and, and play inside as well. So, you know, I have the skill set and it needs to be refined a little bit. But um, at this point, I think I, I have a lot of skills that can translate over to the NBA. So um, it's encouraging to see a lot of guys play how I would like to play. The new NABC rule introduced in 2016 means Inecione can withdraw his name after the NBA combine as long as he doesn't sign an agent, a move that would allow NBA teams to get a look at him leaving the option to return to college on the table if they don't like what they see. There's really no risk. At this point, I can just work out for whatever team invites me to work out and just go from there. I can always pull my name out and come back to school. Inecionia began this season shooting up draft boards as he averaged 21 points per game in his first seven games. But the final 25, that number cut in half to just 10.8 points as the Owls went 500. I always want to win a championship. Um, and have as much success as I can at this level. You know, if, if a bigger opportunity comes or something that as special as the NBA, um, that's something that, you know, I would definitely have to, to look into and, and consider. There will be some regrets in terms of not winning as many games, not winning championships like I would have liked to win, but yeah, it'd be tough. It wouldn't be an easy decision. So does he stay or does he go? Luckily, he doesn't have to make that decision just yet. But right now, it's worth a shot. And Nechionia isn't the first Al to try his luck at the next level. Former Al Quinton DeCozzi went through the same process before returning for his senior season. And barring a spike in interest, Obi will likely be doing the same. 